Hello YouTube, uh, this is Branko from Flagstaff Marine. Uh, today I'm showing you our latest uh, listing, which is a, a beautiful Veneto Oceanus 393. This is the clipper version. Um, the owners have owned it for eight to nine years. It is truly in immaculate condition. Um, all the hatches have got covers on them winches have got covers on them. Um, currently the sails are off because if the owners don't use the yacht they take the sails off, they strip everything down. Um, this is not um, a fault with my camera, that's how clear these clears are on the spray dodger. Um, I can only describe that as new because that's exactly what it looks like. Um, track on the main deck just in front of the spray dodger, gas rod kicker vang, we've got two, um, two back uh, swept back spreaders up on the mast, going back to the boat, um, the really clear nice bimini as well on the back, um, you've got a adjoining section you can see the zips on the um, top of the spray dodger and the bimini, a couple of solar panels on the back. We'll just work our way around to the back of the yacht. So she's a single helm, but the good thing is throttle controls and all your gauges are right there in front of you, as are the uh, winches just on either side, so really easy to control. Got a barbecue set up at the back here as well. There is a, um, a Yamaha outboard on the port side. We've got a Zodiac inflatable on the inside of the yacht. Um, all the winches have covers on them too, if I haven't mentioned that earlier on. Just a beautiful yacht. Absolutely beautiful condition. It, she's just been anti-fouled. She's also got a brand new Volvo engine that's been installed. Um, not much else you could ask for, really. Autopilot, upgraded Navionics, as we'll just discover when we get on board. So on the main helm, have the uh, wind vane, autopilot, and the tri-data. Nice big compass, perspex cover to protect all of that. Engine controls are on the port side. That's obviously the latest control with the new engine, or push button. Good storage at the back. And if we go forward, a really good sized cockpit as well. I'll just turn around so we can have a good look at that. Nice seating all the way around. We have an electric winch here. And we'll just get the camera going the right way. On the starboard side of the coach roof. Everything neatly set up. Fairly self-explanatory. Going down below, the condition through the boat is uh, exceptional for her age. We've got the wraparound lounge and the seat. All the timber is perfect. I can't really fault it anywhere. There's no marks that I can see. Being the clipper version, she's got the uh, top windows on the coach roof as well, so plenty of natural light in this yacht. Very, very uh, light and air feeling in here because of all the natural light that's coming through. So we've got the galley on the starboard side, nice big um, fridge here, which we'll have a look at. Oh, lovely sandwiches, but uh, really good size, as we can see by the depth there. Um, excellent storage throughout, nice and deep. We've got twin sinks. 
We've got the um, Eno oven and twin burner in the center and just plenty of cupboards, drawers and storage space in the galley. All one could really wish for in a 40 foot yacht. And just spin around, look at the back. So the owners protected the floor with trim carpet um, just at the bottom of the steps which is a fantastic idea. Otherwise we have the, um, the Beneteau Clipper laminate flooring which is in good order. Um, just coming over to the chart table on the port side so we've got the upgraded Raymarine screen. All the controls here. VHF ICOM which is nice. Xantrex battery monitor. Stereo CD player. So a three cabin layout. So this is the um, port aft cabin. Um, obviously used for storage. That's the uh, Zodiac tender in its bag. Spear bits and pieces, covers, dunas, whatnot. And then we have the starboard aft cabin. Again, really good size bed, good size double. Plenty of natural light. There's a, a cupboard in both the cabins by the bed, so a good headroom as we enter into the cabin. Single head, but a good size. All nice and clean. Got an electric toilet. Got a big window up on the top, which is good, or a big hatch, I should say. Mirror. Then we got uh, the shower drain. Shower just comes out of the faucet. Here, nice deep floor as well, so no chance of any water leaking over anywhere else. Really good setup. Well, we move forward into the master cabin, which is up front. So just by the galley, and we've got. A double bed here on the port side and if we just look up above the double bed we'll note that there's two hatches up on the top so again plenty of ventilation and good natural light coming through which is quite unusual really for a 40 foot yacht to have that much light and space coming through um, just on the starboard side opposite the bed we've got a little um, lounge or seating area and as we move forward Got a nice ensuite head here. The shower. Got the rail up just behind the toilet as well for um, staying wet gear, which is great. Good hatch, mirror around the side, and a um, couple of places there to put towels, etc. Good size, very, very good size, and really nice layout. So here we have it. 393 Beneteau Clipper for sale with Flagstaff Marine 2002 model it's got a new Volvo Penta engine so it's still under warranty um, just a fantastic yacht please do give me a call my name is Branco on 0428 780 644 that's 0428 780 644 and I'll be more than happy to give you further details and, an, and arrange a must-have inspection on this yacht. Look forward to hearing from you. Thank you.